right thank you very much for watching the other videos uh i also want to appeal to us once again to subscribe to this channel and um, continuing from the previous lessons we want to go on to the next agenda and this agenda speaks of how we can set our measurements for our video size which, which cap cuts and other um uh, video editing apps call they call it aspect ratio the measurement of the video the way it will appear you know the size the way it will appear on your screen that's what this topic is about to treat now how do you set it how do you do that because one of the first and foremost things that you will do when you want to edit your video is to take into consideration the size the measurement the ratio the aspect ratio of the video now different platforms have their measurements you know to which they require for you to set your video in such that when you upload that video the the screen this the, the screen size the area size or you know whatever it may be that 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 platform let's say facebook tiktok you know instagram youtube itself they allow or the vid in which the video can fill up this whole space and be you know of good viewable quality if i should use that word good viewable quality this is what aspect ratio talks about that's what aspect ratio deals with so let let me take us to you know practically down on your screen you can see the options on CapCut. after of course loading the video all you need to do is to just scroll you know to your right and then you will see what they call aspect ratio on cap cuts when you tap on aspect ratio it brings up options you know for different platforms different platforms i told i told us just now have their sizes for youtube of which this video has been uploaded or intended to be uploaded is the ratio is 16 16 ratio 9 16 ratio 9 that's for youtube that's a standard uh, uh requirement for youtube youtube videos or else if you use other ratio when you upload the video on youtube you see that there are parts of this of your screen that will be blank meaning that the video will not stretch you know to cover up the whole screen that youtube provides so if let's say you use 16 ratio 9 which is the youtube standard and upload that video on facebook you see that the video will be cut off a part of the video how will i put it now the video will be too wide to be too wide for for facebook facebook cannot fully contain the video so it will be awkward when you upload a video and people cannot really see you know the whole extent of the video because parts of it are cut off due to the measurements you know that you you used so take note of all of this so when you want to upload a video you want to make a video take note of the aspect ratio of the platform that you want to upload the video to when you have learned that go on google whatever you know and search and see which aspect ratio is the standard for this platform you know that i want to upload this video to when you are armed with that information you then come over to CapCut and do your video editing now the first one says the original as in the original form in which you you, you shot the video in the first place the next one is the one for TikTok. that one is 9 ratio 16 the next one is, is uh, youtube which we, we already spoke about just now the next one then is instagram 1 ratio 1 and then the next one is also youtube 4 ratio 3 but that's not really the standard the standard for youtube is 16 ratio 9 then others as you can see here others so whichever uh, a ratio your your own platform falls under you go ahead and make the video uh, uh, and setting the the aspect ratio you know for for it for that video for that platform all right going on there's one other thing that I would like to discuss also. Um, let me play the video so that we we'll see something. Okay. Now, I've played the video. So, the video I started playing, of which I've paused now. I just wanted the video to appear on the screen so that we we'll see something. Now, 
when you look on the the screen you know the part that plays the video you will see that the the what's it called now when i made this video you know for CapCut tutorial the screen i recorded my screen actually so it was screen recording of course it will be big you know it will be big and in your mind you think that oh people will see it if i upload it on on youtube you know after editing but the funny thing is that when you edit this kind of screens you know on cap cords and you use 16 ratio 9 the screen that you have screen recorded it will be too small for people to see so if you are uh, trying to give a tutorial you are teaching somebody something and telling the person say okay tap on this tap on that tap on that you know on your screen they can't see what you are showing them and that's a disadvantage already but now how do you rectify that under this same aspect ratio you can zoom the video you can zoom your screen actually not the video the screen you know such that the parts where you are showing people where you are saying tap on this can be you know visible for the people to see or for someone to see that say okay this is the option that this person is telling me to to tap on or to click or whatever that he or she is showing me so you zoom the video how do you do that when you look just uh, above your screen the screen here at the top you see the option that says use both fingers to resize your video that's an instruction actually use both fingers to resize your video so what you do you just tap place your two fingers two fingers on the screen you know the parts where it shows the video on cap cuts the video area and then drag you know the way you want it to be so let's say the parts where you are showing somebody or where you are talking about falls under you know at the bottom the bottom of the screen so you just drag zoom in and then reposition reposition the, the, the parts that you want people to see so I want people to see the options that I'm showing them so I'm saying tap on text I want it to be visible for the people to see so I zoom out that portion when I zoom out I then tap on the check button here just close to ratio you know like when you are when you are, you are marking uh, a test or an exam booklet the way you just mark you know that good good mark there you just tap on it when you tap on it you have set you know this your 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 screen to be zoomed such that people can see what you are showing them or telling them but then it gets complicated than that why is it complicated than that the reason is because when when you are done with this it means that and you play the video rather when you are done setting the aspect ratio and zooming in the portion you want people to see and you continue to play the video you find out that that is how it will remain all through the video but what if you have other on you get other portions of the video where that's not the part you are showing them i mean why do not forget that we have zoomed though and because we have zoomed other portions of the of the screen has been cut off they are not showing anymore but then the other parts that have been cut off contain other elements that you want to show you know your audience but now that we have set this aspect ratio and we have zoomed in it will remain like this all through the video so it becomes another problem again so but how do you rectify this one now the way you rectify it is like this so let's say i showed people i want to i want to show people or my audience how to add sound you know and whatever and i'm done with that and then i say okay i want to show people how to um do other stuffs and that option that i want to show someone is at the top of the video when i play the video now going further say i play the video or whatever or maybe i you know navigate by dragging the video you know to the part where i want to uh, uh, the other the new part now uh, that i want to talk about i drag my my video to that part when i drag my video to that part you know close to the parts because you you won't allow it to get to the to the exact part first 
just get it close to the part where you want to you know you want to switch uh, uh topic now you want to switch topic over to another portion of the video where you want to show the audience you then tap on the video this line here i showed us in the other video how we can split and delete but what we want to do now is not delete we want to split the video so i tap on this line that crosses the video from top to bottom i tap on it it brings up options for me to split you know delete you know whatever i told us before that when you tap on the video it brings up the window the, of the video you know the window that contains the options for which you can edit the video that's what it does for you so i tap on that line it brings up those options and what i want to do now is to split the video when i tap on split then i can now go back by tapping this uh back button here i tap on it it takes me to where i can now you know to the main options you know where i can now tap on aspect ratio again come over to aspect ratio and then reposition re rearrange the video you know the screen of the video so let's say i want to show people the undo and the redo button and that part appears at the top of the video where where i have zoomed that before so i now reposition i drag it back down you know so that people can see that part then and i now tap on the good the good mark there just close to ratio same way we did it the first time when i tap on it you notice something now let me play the video let me drag the video back you know did you see that it changed it changed to the previous part to the previous part where i was showing people before where, where i was showing my audience before but now when i drag back it then changes to this new new part that i want to show my audience now you see it's very it's very simple so for every section of the video where you switch to another subject or another topic that you want to show your audience you split when you split you go to aspect ratio and then you know rearrange rearrange the video to the portion where you want to show your audience and that's how you do it for every other part of the video you know and when you are done you see that your video comes out fine if you do not do this you will find out that when you zoom out and then just keep playing like that that zoom that you have done that in that first instance will continue to the end of the video to make your video useless at the end of the day but what this splitting does for you is that it breaks the aspect ratio that you have set you know it's just like it it, it it divides the video into two so that the edit that you have uh, applied for the first portion will not apply for the second portion you cannot choose to you know change the edits for this new portion and that's exactly what we just did now so thank you very much for watching i believe you have learned something you know new as the case may be so i appeal to you to please subscribe to my channel for more educative content thank you very much